I condemn in the strongest terms yesterday's terrorist attacks at Nairobi's Westgate Mall. This premeditated act targeting defenseless civilians is a totally reprehensible. The perpetrators must be brought to justice as soon as possible. Scores have been killed and wounded. I express my condolences to families of the diseased and injured and to the loved ones of all those of other nationalities who are among the victims. Nairobi is the United Nations' main headquarters in Africa, with a wide-ranging presence and hundreds of national and international staff. I'm saddened to report that the retired staff of UNICEF was among those killed in the attack. I offer my condolences to his family. I have spoken to President Kenyatta, and I remain in close contact with Executive Director of the United Nations and Nairobi, Ms. Saleh Wok Joyde, as this emergency continues to unfold. This is a time of shock for all Kenyans and all, including the UN family, who are proud to call Nairobi home. I express my solidarity with them at this moment of grief and loss. Thank you. Now this is, this is a, a particularly brutal attack, and it almost seems as if the terror world is coming full cycle, because one of the first major attacks that we recall against the United States was the attacks on the embassies back in 1998, and now we have 15 years later uh, you know, a, a, a massacre, really, a, and a well-coordinated, well-planned, horrific massacre. I mean, they attacked at the busiest time of the week, the busiest time of the day. Uh, they knew what they were doing. They took the hostages. So this is, again, very similar to Mumbai and showing that al-Qaeda and its affiliates are, are still extremely powerful and are still able to really strike terror in, into the hearts of people, attacking a shopping mall. It has no military significance at all. This is clearly an attack to terrorize and murder innocent civilians. And if the reports are true that they're allowing uh, Muslims to leave and focusing on non-Muslims, again, they're making this part of their jihadist war. Really, one of the biggest terrorist attacks in Kenya since the 1998 bombing. This shows, I think, the uh, really growing uh, influence of al-Qaeda in, in Africa. Uh, you have uh, uh, al-Shabaab now in Somalia going off into Kenya, carrying out an attack outside of its own country. Thank you very much, Congressman King, for joining us. Well, it is an absolutely sickening and despicable attack of appalling uh, brutality. Uh, what we know is that three British nationals uh, have been killed. Because the situation is ongoing, we should prepare ourselves for further bad news. Uh, our thoughts also should be with the Kenyan government and the Kenyan people at this time. We've offered them every assistance, including in a call uh, that I made to the Kenyan president, President Kenyatta, uh, last night. I think the other thing to remember is that these appalling terrorist attacks that take place uh, where the perpetrators claim they do it in the name of a religion. They don't. They do it in the name of terror, violence, extremism, and their warped view of the world. They don't represent Islam or Muslims in Britain or anywhere else in the world. Israel uh, uh, is always ready to help other countries, other friendly countries, in combating terrorism, I think uh, that terrorism became a threat to the entire world and therefore countries, United States, Israel, Western countries, other countries should cooperate. 